Good morning and hope you all have been well. In today's video, we are going to be continuing on with our Pokemon Rejuvenation Intense Mode No Items Let's Play and this is part 68 of the Let's Play just to let you guys know. Uh, so yeah, so real quick before I do get started with today's episode, there is one thing that I do want to talk about real quick. So in today's episode, I plan on finishing up all of chapter 12's story. But before I end the video, once I finish all of chapter 12, I do want to go into a decent size uh, talk about everything that I want to do and get into before jumping right into version 13 story. I just wanted to give you guys a fair warning at the beginning of the video that once again I finish the rest of chapter 12 in today's episode, I am going to go into a big talk about uh, future videos on side quest, going after event mons, and even some uh, boss battles as well. If you do care about all of that and care about the Let's Play, I do ask that you please listen to that. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But again, it would be appreciated if you do care about all of that. I know with all of that, I will probably ask a few questions from you guys and see if I can get a few comments that could give me their opinions and inputs on what I should and shouldn't do. Uh, so yeah. Again, you don't have to listen, you don't have to leave a comment, that is perfectly fine, but um, if you do care about the Let's Play, I really would appreciate it if you did listen and maybe even left a comment, uh, so I know what you guys would like to see. Yeah, but I guess with that out of the way, we shall continue on with the story, and then after that we'll get into the discussion. So, Dr. Isha. So I tried out a few things beforehand and this is what I came up with to go up against him. I noticed that um, his team is very weak to dark types. Um, thankfully I have his team written here. Uh, he has a Hydreigon, Galarian Weezing, Dragapult, Swampert, Dusknoir, and Probopass. So pretty much once you get rid of Hydreigon and G Weezing, Dark types really do quite a bit to his team. I got a couple of Grass types mainly for uh, the Swampert and Probopass. And I just brought these two mainly because of Intimidate because most of his uh, team are physical attackers. So I thought to Intimidate Mons uh, would be the right thing to do. Now I have not tried this team to be exact but... I have tried a few things similar and I and I think I got a team that will win against him. Uh, for the most part he doesn't seem that difficult but maybe this team doesn't work but we'll see how it goes. I know I did try just to talk about a few strategies that I tried. Uh, the main one was trying to put the Hydreigon to sleep. I tried Venusaur, I tried Quag, and since it has uh, the one thing that allows it to get a critical hit every first turn, nothing is really able to live. So I thought the next best thing, since I can't really put it to sleep, is to get a Pokemon that outspeeds it and is able to Oko it. I don't see why a fairy type shouldn't Oko it. I don't know why it wouldn't, but... um. We'll just have to see how it goes but uh yeah that's the team that i'm gonna try out hopefully it works but we shall see how it goes now if i'm not mistaken i don't think i've read any of this last episode so we will read all of this here hello dr isha i believe you have a visitor a visitor i'm very busy busy <laughs> I'm very busy. Is this a necessary meeting? Just shoo them away for now. I'll talk to them as my schedule clears. They say they wish to inquire about your success rate. I see. In that case, send them in. Yes, sir. 
You must be the famous Isha. I've heard a lot about you. I am he. What brings you here to my office? Wait, aren't you that child who was caught in that explosion? You were here in my care, but then she... I was just curious about your incredible success rate. It's quite impressive for anyone to have higher than a 50% success rate when it comes to the medical field. Let me... Um... Mute Discord. Alright, sorry about that. I'm just enormed by it. It's so interesting. Almost unbelievable, don't you think? As unbelievable as it may be, it is the truth. It has been documented and verified by many official inquiries, sorry. Oh, I'm sure it's just that there's something that's been bothering me. Haven't you taken the job of restoring life back to the victims of that stone crisis? Yes, what about it? If you're so good at what you do, then restoring them should be no problem, right? It's proving to be quite the task, but I am confident that I will make a breakthrough. I have a friend that was turned to stone, you know. Her name was Venom or Veronica, if you used her legal name. Ah uh, yes, Veronica. I sure do miss her. When will I get to see her again, or visit her again, sorry? After this. Unfortunately, Veronica will be unavailable to visit for quite some time. Huh, what do you mean? That's classified information, but... Hmm. What about Lavender? What did you do to her? What? Eyes on me, Doc. It's not rude to not have... Not have eye contact, sorry. What about Lavender? I don't know. You tell me. I'm the one asking you. It's just that I haven't heard from her much ever since she was admitted here, and visiting hours have been cancelled for quite some time. I wonder, is there anyone even to visit at this point? What are you implying? About that success rate, Doc. I have reasons to believe. Excuse me one second. Uh-huh. Yes. Really? Good work. I'll speak to you in a bit. Right, so about what we were just discussing, Doctor. What is the meaning of this? Don't move or things won't be pretty. No contacting the authorities either. What is this madness? Just who is this now? Don't you remember me, Isha? That's a little heartbreaking. You should have locked me back up. Letting me go was a mistake. You're that Braxton. You've evolved. You look different from a normal Delphox. Thanks to the technology of the Blakery Corporation? Yes, I do. But we're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about Lavender. Where is she? I don't have to tell you all a thing. I just have to wait for the authorities to eventually show up and escort you all out of here. As long as I don't say a thing, I'm fine. Yeah, no, sorry, but we already thought about that angle already. Remember that phone call, Isha? The one I just got. That was a call from my friends. From my friends, sorry. They've notified me that they've made it to that underground base of yours. What? That's impossible. I would have been notified. You can't be notified if there's no one to notify you. All of your precious subordinates are all sleeping for a bit. So as my friends take pictures and build evidence of its existence, we'll be taking you hostage here. As you can see, it doesn't matter if the authorities come here or not, because in each outcome, will have proof of your corruption. So let us ask this again, where is Lavender? Clever girls, but there's one thing you didn't account for. One path no one but myself could foresee. And what path would that be? This one. Fantastic. Hugh, Arrow, get in here. Crap, what happened? Isha escaped through a hidden back door exit. The others seem to have to be having trouble with Isha's staff. Delpha and I will go assist them. You two track down Isha, got it? Got it. Good, we can't screw this up. For a moment. I guess I'll just save here. Actually, I should not have done that. I hope this team works. Where is Lavender? Tell me right now. Oh, Hugh, you and I both know I wouldn't just hand her over like that. I know, that's why I'm going to make you hand her over. No, that won't happen. If you're worried about me harming her, you shouldn't be. She's perfectly fine, in fact, I'll prove it to you. Bring out the vessel. Vessel? Let go of me, I said let go. 
Q, Arrow, and is that... No, is that you, Braxton? It is me. I've come back to save you. Save her? I already said that that, that won't happen, sorry. Why are you doing this? I may be able to answer that. It's because this guy is trying to make up for the faults of his father. My father? I did some digging on your computer. You make things so accessible you know. Dr. Isaiah Halvert, a famous brain surgeon in avian pre-calamity, he was known for his incredible 99% success rate, but he also, but he was also known for doing illegal experiments on people, most notably their son. Now doesn't that sound familiar? The only thing I don't get is why Lavender, why are you dragging her through this mess? I really must thank you Aaron, that's your name right? Because of you, I no longer have to act the way that I did. I can let it all out. Everyone, please be careful. Do you want to know how I felt living in constant stress in this burden? Yes, you're right, Aaron. I am the son of Isaiah Halvard, the esteemed brain surgeon with a 99% rate, the same rate I have right now. But unfortunately, he died a very long time ago. Well, in a way, he did. So let me guess, you're just insane because of the constant pressure of living up to your father's expectations, and you're performing illegal experiments on Lavender because that's what your father did to you. I'm right, aren't I? This is your truth, isn't it, Isha? You're a pathetic man who was abused and is using that as an excuse to bring harm to the innocent. I'm sorry for what your father did to you, but this is unforgivable. No. Aaron, you've got it all wrong. Huh? The man you're talking to right now is Isaiah Halvard. What? Yes, well, it's nice to meet you all. My name is Isaiah Halvard, best brain surgeon pre-calamity and post. And how is that possible? Isaiah was found dead in his home. Uh, I suppose calling myself completely Isaiah Halvard is incorrect. You see, make no mistake, I am Isha, son of Isaiah, but I am also Isaiah. First of all, real quick, is that how you say Isaiah? I'm pretty sure that's the correct way it's pronounced. Sorry if I got it all wrong. Uh, let me put it this way, half of my brain is Isha and the other half of my brain is Isaiah. Not physically, but mentally, we are one and the same. You're not making any sense. Let me start from the beginning. It began when I was born a surgical prodigy. At first, I truly wanted to help people and I did. I brought hope to people who had none in the first place. But as life went on, diseases became harder to treat, people's expectations were high. The expectation I held myself to was too... Myself too was too high, sorry. I became obsessed with my success. Originally, that was because I didn't want anyone to die, I did not want to bring upon despair to a family, but eventually it all became, it became all about the number, my 99% success rate. I did whatever I could to maintain it, illegal practices, deals with the black market. I played God, and as a result, God decided to play me. At the age of 45, I was diagnosed with an, with an illness that not even I could cure. The doctor with a 99% success rate diagnosed with an incurable disease. I was horrified, but it was so ironic, but I couldn't, but I couldn't help but laugh, I think that's what that said, sorry. This guy is a psychopath. I tried and tried and tried again, but nothing I did bring, would bring me closer to a cure. I would soon die a very painful death resulting in my precious success rate to fail, to fall, sorry. The humiliation of a doctor failing himself was too much to handle. I needed more time to perfect an antidote, so I devised a little plan. Immortality was still outside of the realm of possibility, but even death isn't without loopholes. Using my years of research, I found a way to transform, transfer my memories onto a family member. It took many tests and many experiments, but eventually I was successful. It's a shame my colleague had to write me out. That's when you took your son and fled, right? When you were caught. That's right. Guess where I was taken. Arrow knows. How does Arrow know? They went to the place my father took me in Zone Zero. 
Alright, sorry about that. Had to get some water. Uh, but anyways, Arrow and two others visited the basement of my father's old home. I still have that place under surveillance, so imagine my shock and horror when I saw you three running through my things. Anyway, I was placed inside one of the capsules and my father in another. The process was only supposed to take a few hours, but due to the calamity, the procedure malfunctioned. My status pods are designed to keep the person within them completely preserved as long as their internal battery runs. I was kept in a coma-like state for the next 10 years. When I woke up, I had the memories of myself and of my father, Isaiah. Your father took your life from you. Aren't you angry? Angry? Of course I was angry. I was scared too. But I had all of my father's skills. I could easily make a name for myself once again. And I did. This time, I was going to uphold my own success rate. But what does this have to do with Lavender? I'm getting there, you fool. Everything was going well until I turned 45. Call it fate or call it the result of a genius. My father's procedure worked a little too well. The brain is a very is very powerful, you know. It's capable of all sorts of things. The memories of my father stored in my own brain remembered my father's illness and reconstructed it once again. That would mean that you're terminally ill again. Terminally. I think I said that wrong first time, sorry. Sorry if I did it again the second time. Uh, but anyways. Yes, death followed me to another body, but this time I had no relatives, all I had was myself. I decided that I needed yet more time to work on a cure for this infernal disease. The fate I thought I had escaped was here once more, so I looked for another vessel. But it cannot be with anyone, with just anyone. The two people must share a connection or else the procedure would end up in the death of both. Arrow and I first had a connection when we crossed paths on the bridge. Do you remember that interaction, Arrow? I sure did. I obsessed over you. I couldn't stop thinking about you. I wanted you to be my next vessel, but I had no idea how to find you again. But I was blessed with Lavender and Veronica's situation. They brought you to me. I was overjoyed, but then I realized that Lavender and I had a connection too, an even stronger one. We're not gonna let that happen. Your father may have stolen your life, but we won't let you take Lavender's. That's right, best to give up now. Give up? I don't wanna. I wanna keep on living. Why are you getting in my way? Lavender won't die. She won't be hurt. We'll just become one. We'll live happily ever after. The three of us. You sicken me. Nurse, please take Lavender to her status pod. Wait, stop. Hugh. Lavender. As for the rest of you, I've grown strong just in case something like this happens. Please do not be angry with me. I am simply doing my job as a doctor. I am the white piss. I am the white blood cell and you are the disease. I will purge you. Let us begin. Alright, let's do this. Okay. There's no reason this does not Oko. Okay, cool. Um... I would... I think I would rather just sack this thing off, to be honest. And then go into you. I'll just mock punch. Okay. Now, if I remember, you do have fire blast. I just don't know if it would predict me and go for fire blast and not sludge bomb. I guess I'll have to find out. Okay, cool. Uh, what's your speed? Oh no, I definitely outspeed, right? Oh yeah, I do. Okay, we're fine. Shocker. Hmm. I think I might want to redo that, because 
I, I'm gonna redo that. I'd rather have Kling Clang at full than that. Yeah, let me redo that because of that miss at the beginning. Alright, sorry for the pause there. Yeah, okay, so it does take it out. I, I'd rather keep this thing at full HP than have it weaken when... Um... I don't know where I'm going with that. Pretty much, I'd rather have it at full HP. There's no reason to take damage and continue the battle. Uh, maybe I could have just played it out still, but I'd rather keep this thing at full if I can keep it there. Um, no, I gotta go into you. Because you have uh, Spore. I think it has a Rindo Berry, so this will be a 2 at KO. Okay. And then you stay asleep. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta go into you and, and Intimidate Drop it. Okay. Just go for Crunch. I could just stay in a crunch. Oh, you have Shadow Snake too, okay. Okay. Then I'm gonna go into you then. Just go for crunch. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, he only has one left? Oh, well, this was way easier than I thought it would be. Um... I don't know, just go into you, just mock punch. Oh, ah, cool, okay. I don't know why, I thought this was gonna be a little bit more tricky, but... Then again, a lot of his Pokémon... Well, actually, not really. They're not, like, frail by any means. Like, his team is pretty bulky offensive. Besides maybe Dragapult. Yeah, the rest are pretty bulky. I can't sleep on Hydreigon. It, it's got some pretty decent bulk to it overall. Well, I'm not complaining. Now, that's just disappointing. I think, I think I could go cry. I want to cry. Do I have permission to cry? Behave, you insolent child. This is no time to have a meltdown. Why are we having a fight, father? Let's just be happy together. Wait, you're not actually here. Sorry. Oops. This is disturbing. This must be a side effect of e That doesn't say Isha, sorry. Of Isaiah's procedure. His brain is having trouble recognizing which memories are actually belonging to Isha or Isaiah. As a result, we get this. I guess I'm a bit of a juvenile. After all, I never got to live out a childhood. Even after death you disappoint me. I think that's something my father would say. It's sad, but it isn't a little amusing. But isn't it a little amusing, sorry. This is the guy who was in charge of everyone in the hospital. In this hospital. Lavender, Venom, and the others had to bear witness to this freak. Oh no, I could never act like this in, in public. Your friends, everyone else, they were all in good hands. I took care of all of them like they were my children. But then that person from Team Zen had to take her and everything fell apart. Are you talking about Nastasia? Who did she take? Don't say her name. She'll come back if you say her name three times in a mirror. She came here after the explosion and demanded she have all four of my patients. Cassandra knows my secret and I had no choice but to oblige. Three of, uh, three of the four patients were Alice, Allen, and myself. Who was the fourth? The fourth was... Get back here, you blank. Hugh, wait. This is for torturing Lavender. Mega multi-punch. How did you like that? I'm bored. Don't interfere, insolent pest. Hugh. 
Hugh, grab my hand. I... I can't. Delpha, use your psychic to lift Hugh back to safety. Understood. I got this. You almost killed me. Do it now. Cross poison. My generator, I needed that, you imbeciles. We know. What do you mean by we? He's talking about me. That fourth patient. So Viper return. Venom. Focus, Eren. Let's take care of this psychopath first. Got it. You're cornered, Isha. No way to escape, no way to perform your precious procedure. Your life ends as Isha Halvard. My life ends? I haven't... I couldn't... But if I don't, I'll die. I'll die. I'll die. Good. Hugh, it's your time. Right. <laughs> Did he just, like, slide on over? I don't think I'm seeing things. He didn't even like walk, he just slid over. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny, I don't know why, but that was a little goofy. Hey Lavender, it's time to go home. That dumb doctor won't ever lay another finger on you. Hugh, everyone, thank you. On behalf of Grand Dream City, we are grateful for your efforts. Though next time we would prefer if you would call the authorities before doing something this hasty. You are all unharmed, but imagine what might have happened if things went wrong. We're perfectly capable by ourselves, but thanks anyway. Alright boys, let's take him downtown. This may be the end for me, but it's the end for all of you as well. Are you done having a mental breakdown? Just go with dignity. I've left a gift for each and every one of you, every person in this infernal city. Perhaps it won't happen today or tomorrow or the next day, but one day my gift will rise and then it will be me who will be laughing. We will not take that threat lightly, we will record it, we will record it and investigate its meanings. Until then, please stay safe, citizens. That was ominous, I wonder what he meant by that. I'm sure it'll come to light eventually, for now it's probably best not to think about it. Besides, he said that in front of Officer Jenny like an idiot, they'll take care of it. You're right, let the police handle something for once. Venom, how did you know where we were? Oh yeah, about that. Nastasia had Venom aboard and didn't want to tell anyone about it. She had a feeling that the spring would be powerful enough to restore Venom and it turns out she was right. Why not mention it to anyone we had the right to know? She said she was irrelevant to the mission and thus didn't want to distract anyone. Personally, I believe she didn't want to raise everyone's hope in that case, in case, in the case of failure, sorry. I think it's also why she shooed everyone so suddenly at the end of our mission. I was more so asking how you two know where we were, or knew where we were, sorry. Oh. Adam told us he said he got sidetracked with his bro and everyone left without him. Ren and I stopped by the apartment but no one was there so we just assumed. I see, clever. If the spring has the capability to bring stone victims back to life then this is a breakthrough. Yeah, I actually brought some of the water, some of the spring water back with me. Once things settle down, I'll see what I can do. I um... I don't really know how to say this. It's weird to hear you being hesitant, but don't worry, we don't bite. I'm just really happy to see everyone again. Uh, is Venom getting sappy now? Yeah, yeah, laugh it up, Ren. First thing, first thing I see when I wake up is your ugly mug. I really must be cursed. With every curse comes a blessing, you know. Man, Braxton, is that really you? You've evolved into a Delphox. Not any Delphox I've seen before, but it's still cool. Oh, that's very nice of you, Venom. Thank you. It's a recent change that'll take some time getting used to, but I'll be more helpful from now on. No doubt about it. And I can't forget about Arrow either. How have you been doing? It's been great. Or I've been great, sorry. I'm glad to hear that. You definitely seem stronger. I'll need to catch up later, but I'm so behind everyone else now. Ren, are you sure this is Venom? This isn't regular behavior for her. I don't know, maybe the Stasia got the wrong one. Hey, I'm just happy to see everyone again, like I said. 
Nothing weird about that. Just wait till Malia finds you. That'll be a real sight to see. I'm scared to see her. It's been so long. Everything will work out. Don't worry. I know. I'm just anxious and I can't get over. Good news, everyone. Lavender is okay. They just want to do a general checkup to make sure she's completely healthy. So as soon as... So as soon, sorry, as they're done with that, they'll release her. Huh? What? But I... But... I don't understand how is... But... I missed you. Three days later. Big. Bruh. Moment. Hi Arrow, bye Arrow, hope you have a good day. We're gonna go hang out in the city, if you're curious, I'll bring back a Cheerio for you or something. See ya. Good morning Arrow, I'm glad to see your bright and shining face again. I never got to properly thank you for saving me back then. Hugh told me that you already have the psychic badge yesterday. Even though I can't give you a badge, I should have- we should have a battle sometime. All right then, I'm off. See you later. Man, you're a night owl arrow. Just got back from the Hospital of Hope. The nurses there are treating all of the stone victims with the special spring water. They should be up and ready to face the world again after a few more days. You should have seen my mom's face when I walked in front of her like nothing bad ever happened. She broke down crying. And then I broke down crying, and then we both broke down crying together, but I guess all is well. Hey, don't jump on the couch. Oops, sorry. Arrow, how could you? It's not funny, I'll kick your butt, okay? Wait, no, I won't, I take that back. Also fair. What about Arrow? They're guilty too. I'll kick both of your butts, I'm serious. Sure you will, but that's fine with me. Yeah, whatever, you said that already. By the way, Tesla sent you a gift basket. It was filled with cookies and other... Confectionaries? However you pronounce that. Amber sent a card with it too. Looks like she wants to see you later. Oh, that's really nice of her. Uh, remind me to call her later. I'd like to apologize to her for taking her Charizard as well. That wasn't great of me to do. Apologize? Seriously, what's up with you? You have a fever? Arrow, tell me you're hearing this. I'm not dreaming, right? You're not dreaming. I just had a lot of time to think about... To think while being a statue. I'm sure you thought I was unconscious during... Unconscious, sorry. During the procedure... Procedure during that period but I wasn't I was drifting along it was cold it was lonely it was like the Grim Reaper gave me a free preview of what being dead would be like it I started being being I started thinking about all of the people I took for granted how horrible of a person I've been especially to my friends and family I just don't want to be that anymore I've caused enough trouble for a lifetime that very, that very well may be the case, but the fact that you're recognizing that you haven't been great is already a, a step forward. And not everyone will forgive you right away, but if you work on it, I'm sure you'll shape yourself into a better person in no time. Working, that's gonna suck. But it'll be worth it. Thanks, Arrow, Malia, I'll do my best. And do your best you must. Cannon, what happened to you? Reyna told me about this, the canon we knew was just a persona. Canon's real identity is a servant of Nimra, Alexandra, as of now. Uh-huh. Anyway, do you mind getting down from there? I literally just wiped this table down this morning. This will only take a second. I'm only here to relay a message from Lady Alexandra. She wishes for the following people to visit her at her home in Sashila Village. Arrow, Alita, Malia, Alan, Alice, Ren, and finally, Aaron. Alita and Ren are already accounted for, so that leaves the rest of you. What does she want? Is it important? Sashila is kind of far from here. Alexandra did not specify what this encounter would entail, but if transportation is a worry, do not. I can personally escort all of you if that's most convenient to you. 
May I come along as well? Alexandra did not specifically invite you, but you may wait outside the room as the meeting goes on. That's fine with me. Okay, I'll go gather the others. Canon, do you mind waiting here? And by here, she means off of the table, preferably in the lobby. Very well, I'll make my way there now. The teleporting is kind of neat. I wonder what Alexandra wants if she's gathering all of us. It's probably something big. And I haven't even begun to dwell into the case of that. Not Adam, Amanda, sorry. Just what I need. Amanda, what's wrong with her? It's a very, very, very long story that I will get into later. For now, let's just gather Alice, Alan, and Aaron, okay? Gotcha, let's go. Big bruh moment. It feels so weird getting this far on intense snow items, you know? Before I get into the topic, um, I just wanted to say thanks to everyone that has liked, disliked, commented, subscribed, all of that good stuff on the channel. I really, really do appreciate it. I know we are at 326 subscribers, if I'm not mistaken. And hopefully in the future, we will hit 350 and hopefully slowly but surely uh, grow the channel. It has been very fun getting into uh, recording Let's Plays for you guys and going through these games. I know I haven't really been the best Let's Player on the planet. I know I'm incredibly stupid. I know I don't have the greatest setup in the world. I know I'm not the most fun or energetic person on the planet, but I know once in a while I get um, a few positive comments and stuff like that absolutely just makes my day and it really does uh, help out and definitely encourages me and, and motivates me to continue uh, making Let's Plays for you guys and I hope to continue making more in the future for you guys and for my enjoyment as well again love you guys thanks so much for all of the support and i gotta give myself a little bit of credit i never really would have thought or thought that i would ever get this far on intense no items i, I remember from the very beginning um even before i started this i told a couple of people that wanted me to get into this that there was no way I would even consider this, but then one day I just said, screw it, why not? And here we are now, we finished chapter 12, I'm actually doing it and it just feels great. But of course, I also gotta thank everyone that has left a comment that has helped me with past battles. I gotta give you guys credit for that, and I wanna give credit to everyone that I've used a video of theirs to help me out with uh, certain battles. I'm not going to name all of them because I don't remember them all on the top of my head, but before I got into a battle, I've always given them credit before getting into that. So thanks to them as well. And again, thanks to you guys as well. I greatly do appreciate it. All right. So with that done, I am now going to get into the topic of everything that I want to do before getting into version 13. So this is your guys' fair warning. If you don't care about getting into that, you can simply exit or leave the video however if you want to word that. Uh, thanks again for watching. I agree. I, I agree. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. But if you do wish to listen and maybe even leave a comment and give me some inputs, I would greatly appreciate it. Now I'll get into the topic. Uh, so yeah. Alright, so I broke this down into three subjects. Side quest, boss battles, and event mods. I'm going to go over 
side quests first. So here is all of the side quests that I plan on doing for Rejuvenation before version 13. So, I want to do Missing Children, Classified Information, the Mosley side quest, the White Submarine, Interceptor House, Interceptor Dive Spot, Narcissa side quest, Neo East Girin, the Karen side quest, Aquarium side quest, the Gumi side quest, and the Virtual Badge side quest. Now I want to go over everything that I want to do off video. Um, the main reason why I'm not going to do all of this as a video is two reasons. One, if I did everything that I want to do on video, it's going to be another possibly 8 to 12 videos. And I don't really want to do that since um, this kind of goes into the second um, reason why is because I've already done most, if not all of these during our um normal let's play and i don't think there's a real reason to uh do it all over again uh so yeah so here are the ones that i'm most definitely gonna do on my own time uh missing children classified info mosley side quest yellow submarine interceptor house interceptor die spot and neo east Girin. Those are the ones that I'm going to probably do on my own. Now here are the ones that I'm going to possibly do a video over. And this is where I'm going to need your guys' input on whether I should or shouldn't uh, do that. So I am down to do the Narcissus side quest because there is that one boss battle at the, at the end with the... Um, whatchamacallit the do fox if i'm not mistaken so i am down to do that and plus i know i do have a video of that side quest it's just i know with that one that was more of a tutorial video to show you guys where you need to go so you don't get lost i know it's a little outdated because that was back in version 12 but i'm pretty sure it's still the same thing for version 13 so uh yeah but if i do do that side quest i'm probably going to read the text go into the story of it and then at the end, you know, do the one battle. I might break it up into two parts, actually, because it is a pretty lengthy side quest. We'll just have to see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you want me to do that as a video or not. If I don't get any comments about it, I might end up just not doing a video over it. It is more so up to you guys. Uh, next up is the Karen side quest. That one, I will most definitely probably just skip through the text and mainly just focus on the Karina battle. Uh, so yeah. But again, if you don't believe or don't think the Karina battle is that difficult and don't really care to see that, I will probably just do that on my own time. But if you wish to see me do that battle, I can definitely do that side quest again. I'm most likely just going to skip the majority of the text. Uh, so yeah, uh, next up is the aquarium side quest. I know that is how you get a Greninja. That is one I know I am going to 100% do a video over, so uh, there's no real need to bring that up. The Gumidra side quest. The main reason why I would do that side quest again is mainly because of the boss battle with the Waylord. I know a longtime viewer brought it up a while back that there is only one way to beat that boss battle so that one is kind of a toss-up if there is only one way to beat it i don't know if it would be interested or interesting if i did a side quest video of it uh doing pretty much the same strategy to beat it or if you guys still want me to do that and if that is the case i will do it if you don't care then i will probably do that one on my own time and again, it's up to you. I don't mind doing it. I don't mind not doing it on video. It is entirely up to you. And the next one is the virtual badge side quest. Now, I've done every single one on my own uh, going through the story. 
um the main reason for that is mainly because with those battles i have the worst luck with them it's probably because of the field i don't know what it is but just a lot of hacks happens against me during those battles and during the let's play i just wanted to do them on my own and get them out of the way but i did leave the elite four and the champion for a future video so most likely i will make a separate video for that side quest uh so yeah but again um it is up to you if you want me to or don't if nobody says anything about that i probably will stu still do a video over it but um, we'll see how i feel once we get to that point okay so boss battles um, I plan to do a video for the Colvier clan sisters for both of them in one video. They are probably going to be annoying to beat and figure out how to get the win against them. If I can't figure it out, then, um, I'll just have to look up some advice for those two because I really feel like with intense no items, they are going to be really tricky to beat. We'll just have to see how that goes. Uh, next up is the Dew Fox, and that fits into the Narcissus side quest. Uh, Karina, that fits into the Karen side quest. Um, Waylord, that fits into the Gumi side quest. Aya. So once we finish um, East Girin Neo, uh, there is a boss battle with Aya once you finish all of the Help Center requests, if I'm not mistaken. I will probably do that battle possibly after the Karen side quest since that one is probably going to be the shortest video out of the rest. So uh, yeah, if you do want to see that battle, let me know and I'll just put that at the end of the Karen uh, video. And then the final one that I do want to do a video over is the Kimono uh, Girls with the EV challenge, you get a shiny EV at the end. And yeah, I do want to do that one as a video. Yeah. All right, the final topic that I do want to get into is event Pokemon. I know a viewer, more specifically, a longtime viewer has brought up on, I believe one of the past reborn episodes that they were asking if i would get into just doing a exploration video maybe just exploring around going after different pokemon maybe just getting items i guess more so just a chill episode and just you know exploring around like i've said a million times this is where this fits into it or this topic fits into that sorry what i want to do is possibly maybe two to three videos not worrying about anything story related just being a pokemon trainer traveling around the region getting specific pokemon and just overall having a very chill boring episode because i am incredibly boring and you know what i like being boring and i just like I don't know, sometimes I just like, you know, boring and just chill episodes, you know, instead of worrying about battling, reading a bunch of texts. It's kind of just a step back from all of that, so I'm very excited to do a few videos over getting some of these Pokemon. But anyways, let me go over all of the Pokemon that I do want to obtain. Now, if there is a Pokemon you think I should get before getting into version 13, Put it in the comment section and I will make sure to write it down. Alright, so the Pokemon that I want to get is Scizor, Savali, Snorlax, Squirtle, Embor, Incineroar, Greninja, Gumi, Dino, Gibble, Beldum, Inteleon, Tynamo, Sandygast, Alolan Executor, Hippopotas, Sneasel, Skarmory, Larvesta, Rotom, Turtwig, Sock, Voltorb, Elgem, Chespin, Ralts, Porygon, Garumaka, Poplio, Zygarde, Heracross, and Timber. Those are the majority of the event mons that I do want to get. 
There may be a couple that I won't get, but I do want to get the majority of these guys. Now, I probably will go for the majority of them with good IVs. Um, that, um, I guess more specifically, I'll go after the ones that I need to specifically go for, um, ones that need good speed IVs. Anything that I don't need to worry about that, I can simply change with the Hospital of Hope, um, IV trainer, or changer, sorry. And, yeah, unfortunately, the speed, um thing for that is bugged whenever you do that it just goes straight into the fence i don't know why it just is what it is and i looked into some um discussions to see if there is any fixes for that there doesn't seem to be any as of now so uh yeah i'm kind of screwed with that but other than that um that is going to be my main goal for that now I guess a couple of small things to bring up as well. I might go after um, maybe some specific items that I think would be good. I'll just have to look up an item guide or something. I might do something like that. Um, I might look into where the majority of the TMs are and get the majority of them. Again items and tms i'm not a hundred percent sure if i will worry about that i know i will get into getting all of the um the mega evolution stones uh once i'm able to get them all um i'll definitely look into that i don't know if i need to um get into version 13 to get all of them but i'll see what i can get as of now and I might do a video uh, doing that as well. We'll just have to see um, if I do do that or not. But I guess with that, that's pretty much it. Um, again, if you have any input on some of the side quests that I do want to do, um, please let me know if you want me to do them or if you don't care. Or maybe even if there is something that I'm forgetting, let me know and... I will see if I will uh, do that in a video or not. Same thing with other Pokemon. If you think there is something that is worth getting, let me know. I will definitely write it down to get it. And overall, if you like to, just give me your opinions and comments in the comment section. Yeah. But I guess with that, that is going to be it for today's episode. Uh, thanks for listening to my discussion on what I want to do before getting into version 13. I greatly do appreciate it, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, thanks again. Love you guys a lot. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One thing before I end the video. There is going to be a, a decent amount hopefully of reborn and amori since i do want to take a step back from reborn or reborn from a Reju from rejuvenation i would like to make more progress with amori uh same with reborn and um yeah again the majority of the stuff is going to take me quite a while to finish up and of course recording everything that i want to record there's still going to be a be a, de a decent amount before uh, getting into version 13 but with that being said this does allow me to give more time to reborn and amori yeah now i will end the video thanks so much for watching definitely do appreciate it thanks again i love you guys good morning